A global leader in tech recruiting is celebrating Geek Pride by giving away 10 amazing tech prizes. For more info, visit the Modus Facebook page or modus.com. It's finally here. DFM, Dogfighting Module, Arena Commander, Star Citizen, Fighter, whatever you want to call it. It has finally released and we have decided in our insanity to test it. Just to remind you guys, this is a pre-alpha release, a pre-alpha release that is like, we're lucky it's not setting their server room on fire. I spent the majority of my time testing this game just trying to get it to launch because that was extremely difficult. And if those are things that are going to annoy you, don't bother because it's going to happen. There's going to be problems running this game. It's going to be difficult. It is a pre-alpha. All of that being said, we wanted to test this game because we see this question all the time. Can I run Star Citizen? A lot of people look at this game as it's extremely hard to run and all that kind of stuff. And yes, that's true. It's not easy to run. But in its current form, without any extensive graphics options and without any of the ludicrous things that we're expecting them to do with the graphics in the future, it's not actually that bad. We'll get more into that in a second. So you'll be able to see with this video a rough estimate of how well you'll be able to run this game with these graphics cards. But in the future, this may not apply with the release of alpha or beta or even the full game. These numbers will be very different and we'll probably update you along the way, although we'll ask for feedback for you guys from that point. I was kind of surprised to see the results that I got while running at 1080p due to expecting this game to be a lot harder to run than it actually was. And the only results that kind of surprised me a little bit were the AMD ones, although before the AMD guys run down into the comments and start freaking out, don't worry guys, the second we jump up to 1440p, the story kind of changes a little bit and we see that trend we've been seeing lately where AMD cards are running very well at higher resolutions in comparison to its competitors cards, which is kind of interesting actually and I'm expecting if we went even higher in the resolution, we'd see this trend start to scale out even more. I don't necessarily expect Nvidia or AMD to be rushing out driver improvements to tune themselves to this game. It's a pre-alpha, that wouldn't really make a lot of sense, so don't expect any help in that aspect. That being said, who knows what Robert Space Industries might do. They could release a patch that makes it harder to run, they could release a patch that makes it easier to run, who knows, it's a pre-alpha, we will have to see. Although as of right now, it's not that ridiculously hard to run. It's not an easy game to run by any stretch of the imagination, but I actually kind of expected it was going to be harder to run than it is. So that's actually kind of a relief. It looks absolutely beautiful and it's feasible to run on a fairly high-end system, which is actually pretty cool. Upon launching into the hangar module, all you need to do is pick a ship. Personally, I'm going to go with my Super Hornet because it's a freaking Super Hornet, so I don't really know why you'd pick anything else currently in the dogfighting module. It looks amazing. Uh, fairly recently they've updated some of the animations uh, that, that go along with getting in the ships and stuff, so this is pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys this part just before we're able to select what module we actually want to run. All right, looks great, sounds great, that's all good. That loads up the Arena Commander thingamajiggy. You can't do Spectrum Match yet, so we're gonna do Drone Sim. And then we could try the Vanduul uh, Swarm, but I don't necessarily recommend doing it if you're gonna benchmark because it is quite random, so we're just gonna do Free Flight. Once we launch in here, this is the ideal starting position. Sometimes it'll start you looking a little bit further down, but you see this animation which really screws with your frame rate, so try to make sure you're facing in about this position. And then kind of just look up, and I target out of one specific massive asteroid first. And then I kind of just fly in this direction and shoot at it every once in a while. Once I get really close, I will turn to the right until I see another big cluster of asteroids and then fly towards a large asteroid within that cluster. And then I just continue doing this until my two minute benchmark is done. I'm not going to bother to show you guys the rest of it because it is kind of very dumb. So, uh, is it launching now? No. No. You know what's funny is how many hundreds of dollars that we've spent on this game. Yeah. Yes, friends, for less than the amount that some of us have spent on digital crap for a game that isn't even close to release yet. Dollar Shave Club delivers actual, real, physical, non-broken razors. Yes, they actually work. They actually work. 
directly to your door once a month so you don't look like a hobo, even if your bank balance would indicate that you could easily be one, thanks to Star Citizen. Also, speaking of not a lot of money, unlike large mega corporations, Dollar Shave Club doesn't waste their resources creating vibrating razors. <laughs> Probably no razor should work like that. With like pickle grabbers on the back of them, then making expensive Super Bowl ads about their latest monstrosity. Instead, they save money by partnering up with small content creators like me to tell you how they can make your life a little bit more convenient, and they pass those savings along to you. Everyone wins, especially you. Sign up now to get high quality, inexpensive razors delivered straight to your door once a month, and while you're at it, grab their high quality shave butter for your face and some one wipe Charlies for your butt so you'll smell as good as you look. Join the club today at dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to start shaving time and shaving money. Guys, like this video about Star Citizen performance, pre-alpha Star Citizen performance in one particular module and a couple of games and a couple of resolutions. Anyway, that's the whole point. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Give it a share if you think other people need to know about this exciting new game so that they can all throw all of their money at it the way that we did. Leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see in terms of Star Citizen benchmarks from us moving forward or if you'd like us to just shut up and stop talking about it. And as always, guys, you're the support link is in the video description where you can buy a t-shirt, add our affiliate links to your bookmarks, and I'm pretty sure there's another thing, right? Direct contributions on the forum. And then last but not least, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from Linus Tech Tips. See that skills? Watch, I can do two flips. Oh, that was two and a half. Hold on. One, two. Yes.